baby mast up. Okay, they should be able to hear you now. Hold up, during your mic test. Okay, good. Okay. Should be good. Okay, so can you hear us now? Can you hear us now? We're delayed. Uh, let's see. Okay, they can hear us now. Yay. Once again. Okay, so, <laughs> hello. I am here for the day. And I am DJ going to a concert. Going to Red Rocks yep. in Colorado. It's a good yep. place. Yep. Be careful. No smoking, no drinking, no men. Well, we do the man. He doesn't count as related. <laughs> no. Can't think of what else. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys miss me? I think they did. Oh, do you have your phone on you? Yes. Show them your picture today. Look at what she oh, got okay. to walk along today. Um, all right, well, everyone is getting on here, making sure we have good sound. Mike is not here. He's at the doctor with PJ. Okay, we have to it really close right there. Like, that's good. Okay, that's from my campus. Really pretty. Uh, fall time. Love it. College. Hello, well. Is that pretty? <laughs> it's it's just so scenic. Colorado oh. State. It's beautiful. <laughs> I go there. You gotta love it. You gotta love it, huh? It's, it's Alright, so today we're making English muffin bread and we'll send a loaf home with Emily. So you can share it with all your dorm buddies. Become the new popular mm -hmm. person. Sharing with your Cindy wants to know if you lost weight. Looks like you lost weight. Me? Yeah. Probably because, you know, A stress B. I live on the third floor. There is no elevator. I walk up the stairs at least four times a day. I ride my bike to class, so it's very possible. Freshman 15 is a myth. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, Mindy says she's trapped inside Walmart with, Walmart with cops. That does not sound good. Did somebody shoplift? All right, so we're making English muffin bread. I think, okay. We got everybody on here now. Sorry guys for the delay. Mike is at the doctor with BJ. Starting our next round of doctors. Again. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Alright. Here, you want to switch with me? Yeah. You switch over here. You don't have to switch with me. I'll be spectating uh, for now. And yes, so that's where Mike is. He may show up at any minute. Whew! What a day. So, English muffin bread. This is super simple. You want to start with really hot water or milk. Now, I'm using dry milk, but if you're using milk and water, heat it in the microwave until you put your finger in and it's really hot. I'm going to use water from the tap. Really, really hot. Very good, Emily. You make a good banana. Uh, <laughs> of course, I was making me tap safe that day. That would be kind of weird. Um, okay, so you get the water, really, really hot water for out of the tap. There he is, the love of her life, the love of her life. Okay. So I am using dry milk. Dry milk, so I'm just adding extra water in here. Oops, no, that's what it's really doing. Sorry. And putting my dry milk in there. All right. So I've got that. I'm just trying to use up my dry milk. That's the only reason why I'm using it. Nothing spectacular. Just I use dry milk for baking. Try it back, Dave. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, people are having here. issues. So. I'm... Okay. So. Now, you want to do this? Okay, so we'll have Emily do this. So you put your dry ingredients in. You put in three cups of flour. Boop. So before the show, I went to make the demo one and I had no flour. <laughs> so I had to run to the All grocery right. store. <laughs> Poor Emily, I she's here and I drive in and I'm like, you gotta move your car. 
And then, like, please help with my groceries. And she did. You didn't even ask to, you didn't even get asked to help her make groceries. You just I'm just did. great. I know. Thank you. So I was actually telling that to Jack, but Emily just started helping. So that was very nice. Thank you. Okay, so two tablespoons of yeast, which it's right there. I left it. Okay, we're going to stick that in here. You know, I learned about yeast. College fermentation and what about it? Anything exciting? Um, it can undergo um, reactions both with and without oxygen, so it's good, I guess. There you go. Okay, you pour in the baking, I'll do the salt. The world needs more salt, people. Okay, and baking soda, oh, yeah. that's the proper amount, and then. Sugar, that's the proper amount. Did you say that? Oh, I know. Yeah, and right. then whisk that. Doing good. Where's this one going? Ow. I have a thorn in my finger from tearing down the rose bush today. So I put Roundup on my rose bush today. Why did you do that? Because I. It's driving me crazy. It just makes a big mess and it only blooms for like a week. And I think, you know, it's not worth all that mess for a whole year. Okay, that's it. Okay, so then pour in your water milk mixture. I keep forgetting Emily is left handed. Sorry about that. It's okay. Okay. It's worth it. Um, did I do? Yes, I did do that right. There you go. Very good. And stir. We should just have our own show. Oh, we wait. should. The Auntie and M show. Yes, <laughs> that would be catchy. How to cook for college. See, there, there we go. go. See, we have, do you remember that kitchen that we have? Yeah. They were doing something yesterday. They were making like sushi or something down there. Making uh. sushi? <laughs> yeah, they had some sort of like cooking class going I'm on. I'm sorry, but sushi is, ugh. No, this is not gluten-free flour, Kim. Get it mixed really, really well. You go back down here. Um, this is my niece, for those of you who are new and haven't heard our whole story. So she, we are her guardians, and she came to live with us three years ago? Three years ago. Yes, so a long time ago. Okay, let me check YouTube here. Is there even anybody on YouTube? Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. I have no one in chat on YouTube, Dave. Hmm. Oh, there oh, they are. Just kidding. Oh, Donna says looking Hi, good, Emily. Oh, thanks. All right. Now, you keep that spoon, and I'm going to do the next portion because you... What did I do wrong? I don't oh, know. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, then we're going to stir in three more cups of flour, and I'll have you do three, or stir in between each. It just goes a little bit easier. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go back up here to questions real quick. Um, let's see. Mm, no smoking, no drink, no drugs, no sex, especially. <laughs> you know, oh, you can only get funny. embarrassed for so long until you just feel. <laughs> okay, next one. Stir that one in. Ooh. Yay, Nancy! I'm so glad you got your soap and you love it. Yes, Yay. Nancy. Are you loving your soap? Have you used it lately? I do. Are you I using love... your body wash? No, I ran out of that. Oh, it's okay. Oh, um, let's see. All right, one more. Emily needs an apron. Just in case. Yeah, we do need an apron for Emily. Do you want an apron? Is that where you're wearing to the concert? Uh, yeah. No, no that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, a lot right. of people are saying the sound is low. Um, let's see. I fixed it. Okay, it looks like Dave got it fixed. Don't worry if you can't hear me. I'm just like quiet, so that's not a problem. I'm just very quiet. Uh, your bread tastes a bit yeast yeasty, Jill. Well, maybe just try using a little less yeast, I guess. I don't know. That's strange. Okay, getting it mixed in. I'm doing my best. Okay. Wow, hello our friends in the UK. Thank you for watching us in Turret in Norway. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, we should make a cookbook together. Oh, yay. Cat Lover got her thank you card. I'm so glad. Dave, do you think your mom would eat sushi for super chats? Oh, man. I doubt it. You'd have to pay her extra. I might for $100 if you have, or if more. If you give us 100 plus super chat, yeah. I think maybe I should do 1000 instead. I don't know. You what do you think? I don't know. Okay, did you get it mixed in? How does it look? Does it look okay? Looks pretty good. Okay. Yay. So, then I'm just going to scrape and just make sure here. Yep, pretty good. Okay, so... Since your hands are all lovely and mine aren't, I'm just going to push down a little bit, okay? Just to kind of get the last of it mixed in together. Can they see that, Dave? And you're not really kneading it. You're just Wait, kind uh, of folding in the stuff. Can we I see just, what she's doing? I just didn't want you to get stuff all in your fingernails and not get it out before the concert. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get two pans here. Yes, North Dakota pink, twinning. Uh-oh, she got the same shirt? Yeah, That's flannel funny. is the way to go. <laughs> okay, so. They're still I, at the doctor. I only have one loaf pan left because I have the other two in the oven. So, spray this one over the sink so we don't get it all in the computer. Ooh. Over the sink, over the sink. Oh, sorry. I got you. <laughs> I, got you. <laughs> I was like, no, not on the computer. Uncle Michael, kill me. Did you get it? Okay. And yeah. then do those two little ones. Okay. Okay. This is on page Dining on Dine Cookbook, page 87. And let me get the links here for everybody. Um, because I forgot to do the links. Uh, okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take and uh, here's the recipe guys hold on doing three things at once here this is not easy to do um recipe link right there recipe and then if you want our book tell all your friends hey i'm live watch me on something YouTube, Facebook. Okay, and there is the book. So, oh, you did get on there. <laughs> okay, <Not> so, on <laughs> so <laughs> it said Jill Cooper mentioned you in a comment, and it just took me to that. Uh, Thanks, man. Funny. Okay. Okay, so now you're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cornmeal on the bottom of each thing, so just like mm. this, just so it's just covered. So okay. what does that? What does that do? So it keeps it, it from sticking. And then you just tap it around so it's all even. See like that? Just beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then do this one. Mm -hmm. Mike is at the doctor's with BJ. We are headed for the next, um, the next round of doctor's appointments to try and figure out why he's not feeling well. Mm. Just look at that. Okay, so here we go. So then, let's see, cut, let me see. Uh, oh, I'm having a brain moment. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to kind of fold it under like this. Well, hold on, let me ugh, get it together just a little bit more here. Okay, there, that's a little bit better. Okay, so then you're just going to fold it like this and kind of make a little, I don't know, what what do you call that? A rectangle, I guess? I was thinking more of like an oval. oval slash rectangle something. A so long that, shape. Elongated. Is that what we're looking for? A long shape, an elongated piece of bread. There you go. Now, because these are the only pans I have, we're just going to make them so that they fit kind of in the pan, just kind of like so. I feel like... I don't yeah, know. yeah. Okay. Okay. And just like, just like, boop. Yep. Okay. Put it in the center a little bit more because when it poofs out, you want it centered. Okay. Boop. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So now we're going to take our cornmeal again and sprinkle it on top. All right, so then you're going to let them rise, and they are going to look like this after you let them rise. Now, these have only been rising for 30 minutes, and they really should rise for 40 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and bake them so you guys can see for the show. And they'll finish rising while the, heat, the oven is heating up. All right, so then we're going to bake it at 400. And for 25 minutes. Okay, so timer 2500 start. Okay, sweet. So then just let these rise until they poof up and then bake them. About 45 minutes is how long you let them rise. All right, and that's it. So we're going to let them cook, and while we're cooking, I'm going to cut soap. If Emily wants to look at comments, if you want, sure. you don't have to. Uh, and give us one second to get my mess cleaned up here. Okay. Feel free to ask me any questions. I love talking about myself, so. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> okay. okay. So my question is, how are you pole vaulting yourself up onto your your bed. Is the ladder working? Yeah, I use the ladder. Is it? We had to go get a step ladder because <laughs> for $1,200 a month, they don't provide a ladder for you to get on your back bed in college. Yeah, I have like a higher up bed, which like I chose to get, but I was sort of thinking they would give me means to get on it. <laughs> a lot of girls just like, I don't know how they do it, climb in their window, but yeah, we bought a ladder because forget that. So. It was crazy. <laughs> That was very interesting. <laughs> we were trying and trying to figure out how to get um, how to get uh, poor Emily up on her bed. Mm. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, let's see. Let's do links one more time. Can you put a link in? Right there. Here's the recipe, or here's our books first. So do that one first. Just Command C. If you can do it, I don't know. Um, if you can't, holler, I can do it. So I did that. What do I do now? Okay. And then we'll go back over here. And then post it right there. Is it just like P? Or like yep. P? Command. Oh, no just kidding. kidding. It wasn't. Ooh. Uh, let's see. V. Why they would do V for paste, I don't know. Very good. Here's our books again. And go back one more time. Here's the recipe that we're doing for today. He's so waiting. Okay, which... Mm, right there. The, the English... best easy English muffin. Oh, yes. Recipe. Uncle Mike was like, is this the best or the easy? I said it's both. So, I have a nine cookbook. Page 87. <laughs> okay, wait. Yes, I can. Just technology. Wow! Emily's doing good. I'm trying. There you go. Yay! All Yay. right. Okay, now you can scroll down and see if there's any, or scroll up and see if there's any comments. You can oh, go up slow. is up like the newer ones? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I got that backwards. Up is the newer ones. Oh, that makes but sense. But if you go to the bottom and work your way up, then you can see the old ones first. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, and then is this? So I have one rising and I have one baking in the oven while we're waiting. And I'm going to cut soap and we are going to... See if we have any questions. Dave, is there anything on YouTube? Comments? Yeah. Anything interesting? Uh, no. No comments on YouTube. So this is my... Nancy says the video yesterday was great. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? Is it the bacon one? Coffee. Oh, I had that so wrong. Oh. Does it smell like coffee? Oh. Yes. Oh. Nancy says the video yesterday was great, the one where you blow up. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I'm glad you liked that one. Yay. See, Tara's head exploded, paying, paid off for once, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. 
So this is the one where I made the mistake yesterday and I put my brown in with my white. So that's why there's two different colors. Yeah? Uh, Rosanna says better move the corn meal to a spell before. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I am going to see, I don't know if there's like a name of the concert, but it's like Joyride and Snakes and it's a lot of like electronic music. So yeah, it it'll be fun. It was basically Excision and Skrillex in the same concert. Well, so yeah, but neither of them are going to oh, be I'm there. Oh, I'm sorry, Lynn. Your dad had a heart attack. Here, let's look and see what we got down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. let's it says see. hi, Jill. What concert? Uh, if you ever get to go on a shopping, what, maybe spree, it will be with Living on a Dime. You have to... You have what I want and need. You have what I want and need. Oh, I have what everybody wants. That's funny. Um, towards oh, from Norway. I didn't realize I joined. What is that? Oh, that was when that it's came up. When you, yeah, when yeah. Nan said hi to you and you saw it on there. Me. Did BJ ever get his new bed? Yes, Marianne. He got his new bed and he has been sleeping from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. every morning. Some mornings 6 a.m. Whoa. Um, and he is sleeping, but he's not really feeling better. So that's the problem that we're having. We're having another um, disease checked out today. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, page 61 is, uh, how do you say, ro how do you say that name? What? Oh, is it ro Rocio? Rocio. Rocio. Sorry if I got that know. wrong. On Dining on a Dime Cookbook, Donuts, on page 60 and 61. Yes, we do. Um, does the Finicky family eat English muffin bread? You know what? I do. Emily does, and I think, yeah, I think everybody actually eats the English muffin bread. Yeah, it's really good. Well, not that it's not really good. It's just that, yeah, you guys know. Should you um, wait until the oven gets to 400 before starting the timer? Normally I would, Jeannie, but, oh, yes, I should have. That was my mistake. But I put it in there to let it rise just a little bit longer while the heat oven is heating up. So, yes, I should have. Marianne wants to know, how are you liking school? It's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you hesitated. <laughs> um, it's just very, it's very different, like living on a college campus and um, like taking college classes, but there's also a lot of fun things to do and lots of involvement. So it's been an adjustment, but it's also really cool. I like it, so. You're getting in the groove. Yep, yep. Um, do I add the time it takes to preheat the oven to your baking time? Yes, usually I do, Mandy. That was a mistake on my part. I'm pretty frazzled today. I'm sorry. It's been a really long week for us with all the rough videos. I've had to mon monitor comments on YouTube literally every 10 minutes today oh, because girl. I have gotten so many comments that I just have to really stay on top of it today. Um... Let's see. What's your What's your favorite tease, Tara? My absolute favorite is English <clears throat> breakfast. That's my number one favorite. But that is her favorite. I like blueberry and blackberry. I like mint. There was one you got me last year. What ones did you get me last year? I know year? I got that you was a the really mint. good one. Uh, what was it? Emily got me you got me a raspberry or something last year that was really good too. Sounds good. And um, I love teas. I love all kinds of teas. So the kids have been getting me those for Christmas, and I love it. I love um, it. I love it. Catherine. Catherine. What's she saying? So I have CFS. How do you manage family not understanding? Oh, boy. That's mm -hmm. like a 20-hour show. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what to tell you on that because we have family that doesn't understand they think she's Still. lazy and she doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I guess the main thing is to just have patience and just keep doing what you could do. I don't know. Mom would be better to a answer that one. And maybe next week her and Mike, when I'm gone, could have a show on that possibly, maybe. I don't know. I hate to put Mom on the spot, but there you go, Mom. <laughs> 
I just put you on the spot. This is the coffee one. Man, I'm loving this one. Katie okay. Joe says, your shirt matches your soap. I know. You guys, I didn't even realize I was all matchy-matchy with my soap. <laughs> Christine, funny. you might have figured it out, but we're cutting soap. That's what we're cutting right now. Yes. It's not anything edible or anything like that. Yes, this is my homemade soap, and I have my English muffin bread in the oven right now. So while we're waiting at bake, we're chatting and... Chatting with Emily. Cutting soap. All right. Uh, Kim, has CFS been ruled out for BJ? Um, well, no, but we don't think that's what he has. Um, his blood pressure is extremely high, and we think that's part of his problem. So, uh, you know, it could be part, but we don't think that that's part of it. So, all right. What do you guys put on the bread to make it yummy? We put cornmeal. So, yeah. And a little tip, um, if you leave the light on in your oven, that is a good way to help your bread rise in the winter when it's colder. Emily, Jeannie wants to know, are you a coffee or a tea person? Definitely both. It depends on my mood. Some days I'm a little like riled up, so I'll go for the tea. Um, <laughs> but generally I prefer coffee. So there you go. Are um, you planning to live on campus next year? Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. There's definitely pros and cons of both. If I don't live on campus though, I'll probably just uh, live in an apartment close to campus. It would, I don't know, is it, it may or may, oops, I'm sorry. You're fine. It may or may not be cheaper in Fort Collins for rent for campus. That's, or I mean, you know, that's the problem. For the dorm or for the apartment? For the apartment. It just depends on what she can find or what she can mm -hmm. get. And, yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard, but Colorado's prices have gone through the roof. Yeah. And it's hard because, like, I literally started school, like, a month ago, and we're already starting to think about next year because you got to pick something soon. So we'll see. That's crazy. Let's see. Uh, where do you find the link for the book? I will put it in there here for you, Mandy. It's right here. It's Dining on a Dime Cookbook, and anybody who wants to buy one, please do. We're going to have a huge round of medical bills coming up again with BJ now. Uh, what do I do with that very thin slice of soap? Those are my samples that I do. And I am going to Michigan on Tuesday to visit our viewer, Penny. She bought me, she had frequent mm -hmm. flyer miles, and she bought me a plane ticket. Girl! So I've never seen the fall leaves change, and mm -hmm. so she paid for me to go see the fall leaves change. I thought that was so, so nice. nice. I know. Emily doesn't even know we found a house in Wisconsin. <laughs> we were, did you know that Uncle Mike and I almost went to Wisconsin this week? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Mike texts me like every day. You think he would say something about that? So we found the house in Wisconsin that was perfect, and we loved it, and you're just going to die when you see it. But we are going to wait for right now because Mike wants to wait and not go until the summer. So we're going to wait and not go anywhere. And we may or may not go next summer. This one's cucumber melon. Ooh, I like that one. Um, and see if um, next summer if uh, we want to go ahead and go. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Um. Thanks, Lynn. It's always good to hear that I'm doing a great job. <laughs> and um, I think Katie Jo, thank you also. I appreciate it. Let's see. Um, Cindy may make bread this weekend. Which is your favorite, Tara? Uh, my favorite is the plain homemade on, let's see, what page is the plain homemade? It is on page... The plain homemade one, basic bread dough, page 71. That's my favorite one. Um, and then I make a lot of muffins too. Mm. So that one turned out pretty. And these are for sale on my Etsy store. Let me get the link for that real quick. Um, if you guys want them, you can get my homemade soaps here. 
And I'll put a link there. Are they home? I hear a car. I don't know if that's them. Oh, I think that might be Jack or no. So yeah. there's my soaps. If you want to buy my soaps, um, I have them all on there. Hello, Jonathan. Hey. What am I studying? So I'm studying nutrition, um, specifically, I think, dietetics. So, so what yeah. is dietetics? Um, so basically, like a dietitian is um, what people kind of think of as a nutritionist, but it's like higher credentials. So you could work like in a clinical setting or like a community setting or in like a food service setting and basically just like make sure the nutrition standards are like compliant and kind of things like that. Just helping people be healthier, understanding how food is like metabolized in the body, everything like that. So yeah. Yes, Dave. I'm not quite sure this is how you say it, but Coco Noel, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, it says, Tara, I found your house uh, in Michigan. You found me a house in Michigan. Uh oh. Oh no, so now we have to go to Michigan. Well, you're already going, mm. so there you go. There you go. Here's cucumber melon, guys. Isn't that pretty? Turned out so nice. Thanks, so Marianne. nice. Oh, and let me do one other link here, real quick. If you guys want to see me make these soaps, um, oops, I pushed the wrong thing. Um, you can go to my How to Make Soap YouTube channel. On it's a just dime? How to Make Soap on a Dime. I feel like I came up with that. <laughs> you probably like that. did. <laughs> um, Amber wants to know, I don't know if you just put this already in there. I need some soap for Christmas gifts. Where to purchase? I just put the link in there, but I'll do it one more time. Right here. I am gearing up for Christmas, trying to get all my Christmas stuff made up I now this one is started. lemon lavender Ooh, i had a really good lemon lavender cake one time it was awesome a lemon lavender cake yeah that's it was a that. big one i've never heard of that before huh i think this is directed at me wow you look like uncle mike well that's a first <laughs> <laughs> let me see you look like uncle mike yeah i guess you kind of I mean, do yeah i don't know i mostly look like uh my other side of the family but that's cool we are related this one's Lemon Lavender. And these will ship out after I get back from my trip next week. They need to cure only two weeks because this one I made hot process. Right there. Mmm, that looks so good. It smells good too. Aw, thanks Crystal. Yeah, everybody's been wondering Mom. where you've been. <laughs> College. Yeah. Sure, Jack wants to tell him something. Go for so, it. So, mmm. The day before everyone found out that it might be snowing tomorrow. It's Monday now, but yes. Oh, Monday? Yep. Well, my teacher, so yesterday, my friend started singing Christmas songs, <laughs> and she was like, no, please, no, it's going to be your fault if it snows. <laughs> but she, her, her heater in her car is broken. <gasps> oh, your poor teacher. <laughs> Oh so, no! She was, and then the next day she found out that it was gonna be someday like Monday or Tuesday or yeah. Oh I mean no. Monday or um tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And then she was like, "It's all your fault." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. Do your soaps contain animal product? Um, let's see. Some of them do, but this batch does not. No, these are all vegan. The ones I'm cutting today are all vegan. Um, they have coconut, palm, uh, castor, avocado, and olive oil. So, but what makes it soap. soap? But what makes it smell like eggs? What just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say it doesn't smell like eggs, you crazy guy. Um, I'm just kidding. Are you gonna make some fall and Christmas soaps? I only made one fall one. I have a pumpkin one I'm making tomorrow, but I won't do it live. I'm just gonna make it because I gotta get it done. So I'll have one pumpkin one, and I think I've sold out of my fall maple one, but uh, I am gonna do Christmas as soon as I get back. I'm gonna start on Christmas ones and get those done. So I have a peppermint for sure, and a couple of Christmas trees and a couple of cinnamon scented ones. So, how's your yeah. weather outlook? 
We're under a hazardous weather outlook already. Apparently. For what? Is it for wind? The Denver, wind is horrible today. Denver Long Mountain needs seem to be. In no, there. every time I want to do something. Um. Uh, why have to read like a paragraph's worth of information in that? So this is hot process soap, this one, without a crock pot. And I'll put the video up in a few days or a week or so. Yeah, Monday off. But It's Columbus Day. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Actually, I think it is. You it's have just... Monday off school, and then you're off on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the next Monday? It says Columbus Day, and usually Columbus Day is off of school. It's off first. I don't think so. You better not have Monday off. Why are you guys off so many days? Oh, my word. That's crazy. Because our schools crazy. are crazy. True. Oh man. And they let us have a ton of breaks. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Hold on, let me mm -hmm. check. Whoops. Why is it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hi. You can scroll down more. Mom. Yeah. Fall break is coming. I know. Fall break is coming, and I'm it's not going to be here. It's two half days: Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, obviously, are off. That is crazy. You are a crazy dude. Oh, technically, yeah. okay. technically oh, all this. This next is week is only two days of school. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's Canada Columbus Day. Tracy, what is English bread? What is English muffin bread in the UK? I do not know it. Um. Well, I don't know what it would be called in in the UK, but it's like a it's not a real sweet bread, but you usually eat it in the morning with an egg or with jam. And you toast it usually. So, yeah. I don't know. So, I found a house in Colorado. Same qualifications, really nice like the other one in Wisconsin. It was only six hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. Do you have six hundred seventy-five thousand dollars? I could have. I remember when you said your budget was like three hundred thousand, <laughs> and now we're like, okay, there is no budget. <laughs> uh, 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 let's see, a lot of this. Have you tried Irish breakfast tea? Yes, and I do like it. It's actually really good. Yeah, it is really good. And Donna, Mike, and I might come up and see you guys when I get back from. Wisconsin. Um, I'm only going to be gone for like five or six days. So I made the bread at the beginning of the video. We're waiting for it to cook, which we're getting close actually. It's almost done. It's got Ooh. like five minutes and it's almost done. Okay. So then I made a batch of unscented, which actually I think it smells good. Even though it's unscented, it still smells fresh. Don't you think? Good to smell fresh. It is good to smell fresh, especially when you're living in a dorm, isn't it? If well, you I mean, it smells fresh. That could be a problem. I mean, it's like all girls, so it's not that yeah. hard. But so, Connie, Mike is at the doctor with BJ. He has lost 40 pounds. He's been sleeping eight to ten hours a night, like the doctors told him to. It's been four months, and he's not doing any better. So, we're off for the next round of doctor's visits. So we're just going to start doing that. Uh, McKenna, yes, I'm making English muffin bread. It is in the oven. I have about four minutes or so before it's done. And then we'll take it out. So Stacy, what is the name of the website you use for your glasses? Zenny, Z-E-N-N-I, optical.com. They really need to pay me. They really do. I need to get something from them because, you know, we just mention them all the time. So, what brand of uh, mattress did BJ get? Oh, I don't know. Candy, I don't remember. We got it at American Furniture. I can go look it up and email it to you, Candy. Um, send me an email. Remind. Send me an email and I'll send it back. So... Is Emily your daughter's, your brother. or my brother's daughter, or from Mike's side? Mike's sister's daughter, yes. So, from that side of the family. Yup. Um. Let's see. LOL. Let's see. I am so dis, I'm excited my soap didn't discolor either, because I thought my soap would discolor. 
so I'm glad it didn't. Isn't that pretty? I just love yeah. regular plain soap. I don't know, I just think it's so cool. Mm -hmm. I just love all kinds of soap. So cat lover. So a lot of people ask what my major is. Um, I already said it was nutrition, but um, am I taking some Am I taking some courses in that major or only the basics? So I got some of my basics out of the way before I went to college. Um, so I'm gonna be taking a lot of science classes. So I'm taking just like general biology this year and I'm taking like an intro to nutrition. And then I am taking a couple of like other classes like sociology and math and things like that. So kind of a wide variety. But so since you, since you did so many in high school, do you have to go four years still? Yeah. Oh, well that stinks. Well, I didn't really get that. Well, what's that. the point of doing that then? I didn't really get that many. I got like a psychology credit and like some English credits. Oh. But, well, I have to take a lot of classes in my major. I see. Because I have a lot. Let's see. Huh. But we'll see. Okay, let's check and see. Let's see. Well. You know, I have never heard of Hope Davis, minutes. so. I, yeah, that's, that's cool. I'll have to look her up. Apparently I look like her. So. I don't know who that is. Let's see. Let's see. My Etsy store is loaded up and pretty full right now, guys. I have several soaps on there, so. Pull the wall down. Um. Um, Sue hasn't been on lately. Tara, do you know when Sue is coming to Colorado? Uh, she said the end of October. So that should be fun. Uh, they were wondering if you're taking underwater basket weaving. That would be an interesting course to take. I mean, technically no, but some of the stuff they're making me take, it's kind of the same thing. So taking... Yeah, what's your one you're taking right now? Like the, his, like the study of leisure and... Then yeah. What a waste. I'm sorry. What a waste. The study of leisure. It's true. It's kind of fun, but still. Yeah. Um, At least it's not hard. Well, oh, we get a lot of assignments, so that's annoying. Do you? But, oh, that stinks. Let's see. Do you put your dough into a cold oven and let it heat slash rise during the preheat? I do, M. Brown, but I did let it rise about... 25 to 30 minutes beforehand. It needs to rise 45 minutes, but I just didn't have time for the show. So anyway, so there's my unscented. What do you guys think? Mm, a nice big okay. sample for somebody. Oh, wow. This escalated quickly. <laughs> there's a lot of soap on the counter. All right. So let me get my bread out of the oven and I will show it to you guys. Wipe off the counter here. How I got soap clear over here, I have no idea, sorry. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Here, there, we'll wipe Yay. it now. Okay, now, there's that. And I have no idea where all my pot holders went. Here's my one. I think Cat Lover made me that, isn't that cute? Aww. Uh -huh. With the apron to match. Okay. Ooh. Ta da! Ta da da da! Uh, what so do you guys beautiful. think? Okay, I'll give it just a minute to cool, but let me show you. So here's what it looks like when it's risen. See how it poofs up and looks really luscious. So we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven and start them baking because they rose pretty quick. That was super fresh yeast, so that's probably why. Okay, let me grab a knife. Okay, let's see. Is this too hot? Oh, so pretty. Da, 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 da. Dave, can you have me a plate? Okay. No biggie, no biggie. Okay. Poor BJ. He wanted to leave 15 minutes ago to... Do you want the cookies for Santa plate? Uh, that'll work. Okay, he's running out the door, I think. Yep. You guys are running, so... Well, I'm ready, so... Okay, goodbye, have fun. Bye! Thank you for hosting Essing with me. Okay, there it is, guys, what do you think? Is that lovely? 
or what? Yay! So let me put the link to the recipe in here again for our English muffin bread. That's what it looks like. Um, let's see. Okay, so get my homemade soaps here. Oh, whoa. I'm cutting you off. Hello, people. Bear with me. How'd it go? Did you find anything out at all? Please tell me you did. Ew. Uh, he thinks that his first thing to think of is what Dr. Bartleson said. And so did that test say he has that or not? I haven't not? done the test yet. Well, the test says that it's likely he could have that. Okay, so guys, keep your fingers crossed and please pray that BJ Except may have, have an answer. <laughs> well, I know, but at least it can be fixed. Yes, I agree. Oh, man. Please pray that we can figure out what's wrong with BJ, even if it's surgery. Oh, my goodness. How are we going to pay for that? <gasps> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. Let's we'll just take okay. it when it comes. <laughs> we may be having a lot of sales soon. This is where Hi, you have says to I'm be. Mikey. This who is says I'm Mikey? I don't know. Just one second. Sorry, I lost my links. I'm not very good at this. You're better at this than I am. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. Here you go, dear. You can have it back. Okay. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> so the back pain was part of Thank you for... what he thinks. No, he said that the that blood test that you said they already gave him. Uh huh was suspicious and that the test they did wasn't significant enough to rule out the... It, they just tested that... The, the ultrasound only tested one little area, but he said it could be anywhere from here down to, the, to here. So what do we have to do next? We have to get a CT scan and variety of other quite pricey items. <laughs> so, anyway. <clears throat> oh no. So We don't have insurance to cover this, so... We have something to cover a lot of things, but not this because it was already existing. But we could have gotten regular insurance and it would have cost us more for the insurance than... And then it wouldn't have paid till after 9000 out of pocket. So, um... Well, did you feel... Did you like him, BJ? Did you feel good about it? Good. Do you feel hopeful? Yeah. You just want to go to your Except, concert. Well, they're behind. <laughs> they weren't expecting us to be gone that long. Neither was I. So what they're... You're looking a little rustic there, dear. I know, I think I didn't shave, I ran out of the building. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> I didn't shave and I ran out of the house and I thought, I'll, sh I'll be back just before the show. I was like, wait, it's 45 minutes into the show and I just got here. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it was. Pheochromocytoma is what they're testing for. They're mostly. testing for what? Pheochromocytosis? No. Cytoma. Cyto Pheochromocytoma. Has anybody had that? That's what they were saying to you. So what did it, it may not be that. But the Mayo Clinic doctor called us back and said, you should have them test for this. And when I told him the Mayo Clinic doctor said that, he said, that's the first thing I was thinking we need to check for. Um, because the blood pressure and a lot of the other symptoms all seem to point to that. And it's one thing that they didn't test. Well, so what that means is, if that's what he had, it would explain why his blood pressure is up and there are a lot of mysterious unknown symptoms because there's a variety of those unknown symptoms that come together uh, with blood pressure when you have a small tumor, which is usually not cancer, um, on a, an adrenal gland, which might be around your kidneys or I guess there's some other adrenal glands in that part of your body that could be in. So that's what they think it might be, but they didn't go as far as to tell us, you know, it's likely to be that because... But he had another test that was not normal. It shouldn't have been the numbers it was. He had a blood high. test that indicates that it could, that it's it's out of the range. And have it, fun! Be careful! Bye! I love you! So he, he had another test that's out of the normal range. And when it's out of the normal range, it's one of the indicators that this could be a problem. But also the blood pressure could indicate that this could be a problem and a lot of things like it said being pale and uh, sweating he'll he'll just walk up the stairs and... and he'll just break out into a sweat just walking up the stairs and he has heart palpitations and he's really weak and he's really dizzy and he's extremely tired so we're gonna just um he did give me 
uh, suggestions on how we can negotiate on some of the prices for some of the stuff. So, so guys, if you wouldn't mind going and buying out my soap store and all of the 2000 bucks left we have in the Well, garage. we don't know. Because we don't know what it is, we don't know how much it'll cost. So it might not be... I mean, it's going to be... Yeah, but just the tests alone There's going to be pricey, be... but it's hopefully not going to be mayo pricey again. <laughs> so, ooh, cream cheese and jelly would be good on that hot English muffin bread. Oh, man, this looks good. Did you take a picture of it? No, I should. We should. I'll leave Here. it so I can take a picture of it. Here, I'll take a yeah, picture. Emily, please make us a basic yoga video. Oh, did she see that before she left? She didn't. Mm -hmm. So we've got the Santa plate. Oh, whoa. It's a picture of me. Frightening. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks really delish. Here, take it so you don't see the Santa on there. There. Uh... So this is a weird thing to be taking pictures of this while everyone's waiting. <laughs> so how was the show? I tried to watch a little at the doctor's office and I even commented still at the yeah. dock. Did you see yeah, my comment? Yeah, got it. Um, so Emily helped. She did very good. She made the bread. Well, I told BJ because BJ was there thinking, oh, our concert, our concert, it's already no. started. And I was thinking, no. So it started at five? Started at four. <gasps> but apparently it oh, goes to like, no. it goes till after, it goes till late. And the group that he really wants to see doesn't start until nine or something. So, oh no, I but hope they were... can get a good seat. So, well, because he's worked there. He's worked at this concert venue before. So he, he knows used to the... be their drone pilot. So he knows the secrets. <laughs> so that'll be cool. Let's see. Um, how old is he? He's going to be 20 next month. Oh, my baby. He's going to be 20. Yeah. Wow, that makes us old, dear. Well, and that's another thing the doctor said about that particular thing. He said, you know, another reason why he thought it was something significantly worth checking is he said, uh, you know, he said, I people I usually see in the kidney specialist here, they're usually like 75, 80 years old, and they have all this stuff, and at his age, he said, there aren't nearly as many things. Mike so likes his food, yes. <laughs> uh, just for... For Trish, not being mean, but that set of symptoms sounds like menopause. So here's the thing, <laughs> Trish. It's so funny. Yeah, like when we were first trying to figure this out, even before we went to Mayo Clinic like a year ago, he said, Mom, I figured out what I have. He, I said, what? He said, Dr. Google says I have menopause. <laughs> He keeps yeah. saying that. He keeps oh, re-googling it. I'm just seeing all the high mics from before. Yay. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. And yeah, thanks for praying for BJ. It's It did help him some. Uh, and he was even talking to the doctor about this, that it did improve him some with what, ha with what Mayo recommended. It's just Mayo was suspecting there could be more than one thing. And this seems like... It, I think this, this one... If it if it's what they think it is, that should resolve all those symptoms. Well, and with awesome. losing weight, now they cannot. Because we went to a heart doctor, and the heart doctor was like, "You just need to lose weight and exercise." And he's like, "I can't." He said, "I can't physically do it." And I just wanted to slap that doctor upside the head. And so he got the forty pounds off, but he's not feeling better. So. <laughs> anyway. Did, did Emily answer the do you miss living at home thing? Hello? Hello? Oh, good grief, it's a telemarketer. <laughs> you didn't I, unplug the phone. I didn't have you. didn't you. go through my checklist. I didn't do your checklist, I'm sorry. Because the dog's out too. I know. <laughs> I'm like, <gasps> let's put Buster away. <laughs> Dear, you should have seen me. I literally, like 30 seconds before the show went on i was still getting my makeup on in there I well mean, i called dave like... and said dave i don't think i'm gonna make it back to, for the start of the show so so how yeah. did it go it looks it like you cut well. some soap you made some bread I cut lots of soap here's the coffee soap what do you think you like it Ooh, let me smell it again you, maybe we could trade soap at the hospital for medical bills here doc this is worth a thousand dollars So, so actually, you felt good about the doctor though, like he was gonna try and help. Oh man, he it seemed out. a lot better. Okay. And it's funny because he said, "Yeah, I see you've had a lot of tests and you've been through a lot of things before." And I said, "Yeah, I said we've been kind of concerned about this or that." And he said, "Well, that's because you didn't come to me." <laughs> but I looked. I before we went so there. So tell him how we found him. Uh, Google. Well, I went to Google and I looked for doctors in that specialty that 
had high ratings. And then I went to, uh, I forgot the name of the site, Health, Health Grades. Grades. And at both places, he had five stars and he had like a hundred ratings altogether. And I was thinking, wow, when you get a hundred people saying five stars and they're all saying amazing, magnificent things, I thought, this sounds like the kind of doctor we're looking for, so. Oh, yay. Yeah, because we're trying to find a new family doctor since we changed insurances, which is not really an insurance. It's what what is it called? I know I'm call it insurance, but it's not insurance. It's a health sharing. So health right, sharing. so we have a health sharing thing that the family is on, um, but after part November of the health 3rd. sharing is it's not insurance, and so it doesn't cover things that are pre-existing until after three years. I think it's. You told me three years. Well, originally it said three, but they told me like two one or two. Oh, okay um but some people would say well you know why wouldn't you be on insurance because the, ins the insurance doesn't have that but the thing about the insurance is insurance costs us eighteen thousand dollars a year and then it doesn't cover anyone until we've spent nine thousand on that person so we'd have to spend twenty seven thousand dollars for the insurance to have been worth it and even paying cash it's i, I think it's yeah not um, too likely it would get to Brenda, be that. Brenda, he has worked enough that he probably could get on disability, but it takes two years or more to get on disability. And if this is what it is, you know, if we have to take out a loan on the house or whatever, we'll do it because he needs to get something. He's been really sick for four, almost five years now. Five years now. He's been really sick for five years now. I so. think we'll just take it as it comes and see how it goes. Yeah. Rocio, what type of doctor is this? Uh, it's a kidney specialist, what, what mm -hmm. they call him? Nephrologist, nephrologist or something. I keep getting confused because I think I think that's like I don't know for some reason I, I think that would be a different specialty based on the route but I guess not. Yeah. So yeah the kidney doctor um, and the reason why I actually just said we're gonna go to a specialist right away and Good call everyone that. before all the at Mayo and at other places they all told us that the blood pressure would tend to lead towards a kidney thing, but since a previous kidney doctor here said no, Mayo didn't check that, um, and they had some tests and things, but so hmm? yeah, what? That's oh. why. Yeah. So anyway, so we're I'm encouraged that there's a direction to go that looks like it might actually help something, but I hope so. Yeah. So. We'll oh, see. yeah, Angela says a fried egg sandwich on English muffin bread, toasted even cheese, too. Oh, yum, that would so be so wonderful. So is this within my snack range today? Yep. Mm. Does it smell Did good? you tell them? So I'm kind of on this diet thing where you eat a very restricted amount on one day, and then you eat a normal amount on the other day and a restricted amount, so every other day. So I have to be careful which day we... I'm sorry. Which day I sample there, the food. I will lead you not into temptation. So anyway, <laughs> uh, Kathy says, don't forget Thrive Foods. What's that? Oh, oh, with reference to the... Oh, yeah. To my... By the way, Thrive is having a sale on the Black Friday, the week of Black Friday. So if you guys are interested in it, but you think it's just too high, which I totally get. The price is just really high. I get that. Um, they're having a sale the week of Black Friday, so. So Lynn, you say you have a tumor on your adrenal gland that causes blood pressure issues. Why, that sounds like the exact same thing. Why, why would they not remove it? Because they say that should, that, that should resolve those issues. And of course it's not cheap, but at the same time, um, I think the blood pressure being high or having those problems can cause worse problems later. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway, so it was good. But the funny thing is for BJ, he was, he was mostly, the, he and Emily were going to a concert tonight and uh, he was getting a little nervous thinking, it's time, it's getting to be time. Poor BJ. <laughs> so anyway. Well, maybe one of the security guards could get him in down closer. <laughs> maybe. Uh, we could pray for that. So Maybe, well, I shouldn't say that. Never mind. <clears throat> Never mind. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I didn't know if you... I feel like I've come into this without understanding where we are in the show. Which is kind of weird. The show is not the same without you. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate that because I was wondering. <laughs> um, so you just make the show. I guess. I'm the comic relief. You're the comic relief. You're the Abbott and I'm the Costello. 
<laughs> I'm the brains and you're the brawn. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's that's painful. So. Actually, you do look pretty handsome, rustic there. <laughs> Can you see that on camera? It, it's too bad I don't like like beards. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, she won't kiss me if I don't shave, so. So here's the thing. My uncle, my dad's brother, when I was like five, held me down and tickled my neck with his beard. And ever since that, I can't stand you anything. You totally ruined it for me. <laughs> I know. I can't stand anything touching my neck. I'm like, just don't touch my neck. Just don't touch it. So, yeah. And he wasn't being... He thought he was just playing around and stuff, but yeah. So anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Doctor says difficult and hard surgery to go through. Hmm. Oh, great. Huh. All right. Well, well Susan, hmm. yes, he, he could get Medicaid on his own, but Medicaid is very not useful and... The doctors won't it, even like, take if we knew what the, now. If we knew what the problem was and he was on Medicaid, they would solve it, but to get, or they wouldn't solve it, they would treat it. But to identify the problem, they won't ever get there. <laughs> the doctors so, just won't even take Medicaid patients in Colorado at all. So that's, you know, we just, um, I think when we, we finally were getting frustrated with doctors and hospitals and checking in general, which is why we ended up going to Mayo, uh, and which is why now we went to a specialist directly um, just because we don't want this to keep going on for more years. But I'm sure something, I, I know something will come up that will make it possible if we discover that's the issue. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca's right. Medicaid doesn't cover anything. And they won't even take, doctors won't even take Medicaid here. They won't even let you in the door. They just, it's, it's a farce when they say however many million people are covered with insurance now. That doesn't mean anything if the doctors won't accept you. All the doctors have to do is say, nope, we don't take Medicaid. So they don't even take them here. So uh oh, anyway. Andrea asked, did I miss the bread making? I missed the bread making. So yes. I guess we both did. But So I made English muffin bread and here's the final Surely this loveliness. one piece will be sufficient. Yeah, but don't you want some butter or something on it or? Is it, is it, am I allowed? <laughs> I don't know. I could probably could since it's a show day, right? There's butter right there. Can I try? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if anybody noticed I was getting my girlish figure back. <laughs> yes! How many pounds have you lost now? Twelve. <gasps> Twelve? Yeah. Ooh, so, yummy butter. I better lose yeah. a couple more before the, uh, the coach calls me next week. <laughs> so she called me yesterday and I said I quit. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> Mm. Well, what can we do to help motivate you? I said, I can't. I have no motivation. What do you think? It tastes so good. It tastes so good. What do you think? Does it taste it, good? Oh, it's really delish. Did mom do a good job? <laughs> Yay, good. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I see why doctors don't want to use it either. Yeah. Because, just because they don't get paid. Yeah. Bye, Donna. Yeah, I'm not knocking doctors who don't want to take Medicaid. I do not blame them at all because Medicaid doesn't pay anything. If you're not going to get paid for your work, why would you... That doesn't make sense. You know, why would you take people when you're not going to get paid? It's not a charity organization for all of them. And so... Maybe oh, we... Oh. What if we went to Costa Rica? So, Catherine, this is a cross-section. It is super good bread. Oh, yeah, we could go to Costa Rica. Here's what we that. could do. We do could, a show about what is this? We could take him to Costa Rica and do a show about it and write it off on our taxes. Well, it's one of our doctors and get a vacation in Kansas the was talking about going and practicing medicine in Costa Rica. So he said, yeah, if you ever want to come down, it'd be like $400 for a surgery or something like that. He said, because down there, they don't have to deal with the insurance or anything, so they just do it all cash. And So Brenda, it's been 12 pounds in um, three months, but I it's been like four pounds in just over a week. So I think I figured out how to do this better than I was doing it in the first part. Um, basically, I discovered this... Um, this doctor, well, it's a diet plan from this doctor where you 
You eat, she says you eat whatever you want on one day, and then the next day you eat 500 calories, and then the next day you eat whatever you want again. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff about the research, but the idea is your body doesn't feel like it's in starvation mode, and you're likely to last on it more because you actually get to eat stuff you like on the other days, and so far it's been working great. So hopefully, hopefully that will continue to be that way. Now that I've told you I have to really try hard. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah. So I gotta get my buns motivated somehow because I gotta get mine off too. Uh. Um, I think we have had the mineral and nutrient panel, yes, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yeah. He's had so much. This doctor was saying, That's I can't believe how much stuff he's been tested for. I'm and, like, and, yeah. and, not, and not for, and he hasn't been tested for this. <laughs> so, like, but anyway, yeah. Uh, Andrea is asking, is the recipe in the book? This is so good. Yes. yes, page 87 in Dining on a Dime Cookbook. This is so good. You know, uh, also, if you don't have the book right now, I'm going to share where the recipe is on the site. And then I'll probably share where you can get the book if you would like it. So, so Jack said he's going to gobble the whole loaf. So I think we got a thumbs up on that one. Yay. For Jack to say that, you know it's good because it's not, it's not a sweet thing. But man, it's delicious. <laughs> Yeah, it is very strange coming in when the show's Sorry. almost over. <laughs> All right, guys, any last questions? And then we'll, here you go. What do you think? Uh, oh, stop oh, wow. <laughs> You know it's good. I'm not from the not, Oh, yeah. Oh, this is horrible, and you're walking off with the rest of it eating <laughs> it. Come yeah. tell him what you really think of it. You can't let him think you're a liar. It's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, uh, do you have the Thrive link on here? Uh, I haven't shared it in a little while. I don't think it's on there. You can open a new Google tab and type in Thrive slash Uh Wait, oh. Live. Uh, oh, it's slash Leviandime. Let's try that and see. Does it work? Okay, there it is. There it is? Okay. Yeah, here's, if you want the Thrive Food, you can um, go here to that link. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, they're having a sale in November, though. And some foods are going to be up to 50% off, so that's going to be a good deal. Were you talking about it during this show? No, but I just now, somebody mentioned it. You still so. didn't get me that pomegranate stuff. That is Actually, awesome. Actually, it's right there. So I have to say, Tar, I didn't. Here. I tried all the fruits, and man, I was thinking about just keeping a can of the dehydrated pomegranate yogurt stuff in the car because it's really good, but it's actually fruit. But because it's uh, freeze dried, it won't go bad in the car. <laughs> and I think my biggest reason for not eating more fruit is it's just too difficult to keep it oh, fresh in the context where the... I use it. Anyway. Well, this isn't pure pomegranate. This one has... Um, this one is a yogurt thing, too. Yogurt bite, yeah. But it's really good. Well, I, I don't know where it. the can opener went. So, I don't have the can opener. So, anyway. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Why, did, why didn't Mayo test him for this? Um, well, Mayo, because of the test that they ran and because of the test that had been run before, it pointed them in a certain direction. And because he had been to a kidney specialist before and the kidney specialist said that this wasn't an issue, uh, they did not pursue that. Uh, in lieu of the things that it appeared like that it was going to be. But now that those things are cleared out, uh, it kind of came to a point of saying, okay, if the sleep thing doesn't end up solving the problem, then he needs to be reevaluated. Yeah. So the first step in the reevaluating was what could we have missed? And the Mayo doctor told me, you know, maybe, uh, he said, we, I didn't, I see we didn't have a test for this. Um, was he tested for it before? And I said, yeah, it was tested before, before. And he said, well, you might ask him if they would be interested in testing him again. Well, Tara looked at that test and she said, I think this is saying this is kind of high. Of course, part of the thing with Mayo is we showed up with a huge stack of papers, so they didn't exhaustively read every detail. But I think um, basically it's just the kind of thing that because we had been told it was Lyme, they were sort of on a different track of what they were thinking at the time. Yeah. Cat Lover, you can put your video in there. We made you a moderator, so you can put a link to your channel in there. Um, and when I looked today, it said that 
on this particular test that it's supposed to be six or under and his was 21. So that's why, and I looked this up on the internet. Like most of this stuff, we've been looking it up on the internet because, um, yeah, we it's just have. Fine. Okay, so anyway. We can call him back in a minute. Just, I know, I was just trying to get the volume down. <laughs> I can't get the volume down. Uh, I'll just call him back in a minute. <laughs> Does Jack have a flashlight every Sorry. time he comes in? I see a light behind him. Oh, no. No, the sun is shining in from the window. It's just kind of gone down enough where it's kind of coming right in the window across. So when Jack walks in, it causes a, uh, yeah. a flash over here. Uh, do you have something still in the oven? Yes, I do. But yeah. it's not done yet. I checked. It's almost done. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. Please keep BJ in your prayers that we will. When do we do the? When do we do these tests? Do they know? Uh, they're they're gonna call us on Tuesday with the information about some of the tests, but the things that are really expensive, he suggested we we call several places and get them bidding against each other. Okay. <laughs> he actually gave me some specific advice on how to negotiate that, so hopefully. Well, yeah. shoot, maybe we Yay, should Brenda. this as Can, we go. Brenda says I'm down 34 this year. That's awesome, good Brenda. Good job. That's really um, good. What's the best way to store flour? If you live in a place where there's bugs, Susan, um, you need to store it in the freezer long term. If, like Kansas, Oklahoma, Mississippi, those places, if you're in a place like Colorado, you can just store it out. We don't have a bug problem here, but that's how I do it. Oh, Katrina's asking about my elbow. Um... Mostly it's feeling better. I'm, I've been careful if I try to lift weights or something. Uh, those of you who might remember before Ellie and I went to Ireland, uh, it was diagnosed as being torn, which it apparently was, but they said it was torn more like pulling a sponge apart as opposed to torn like tearing a paper in half. So he said with enough time going by, it might repair itself. So it hasn't really been hurting lately. I've not been pushing it too, too hard, but I think it's improving. At least I'm fairly confident I won't have to have surgery on it so that'll be great yeah so I appreciate you asking I'm glad you remembered <laughs> so thanks for ordering Jacqueline appreciate it the star food is really tasty it is I understand I totally get it but you know some people it, it's um, convenient for them and so yeah that's what I do yeah so all right guys we'll see you later please have a good night have an awesome have a great weekend, weekend. Yeah. We're going to be mowing tomorrow. Maybe our last mow, we're getting snow on Monday. 80% chance of snow. I'm not going to high five. I don't want snow. <laughs> I'm no so excited. Snow. Okay. And then I fly out Tuesday, so let's hope it's not too bad. So. Yeah. Oh, yay. Lori made cinnamon puff bread. Yay. Yay. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Have a good night. See you on Monday for my last show before I leave. So I'll be doing two shows while you're gone. Two shows alone. Is that all? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sure we can work that out. I just need somebody to bounce things off of because I'm the comic relief. And if there's nobody to be the comic relief for, then I'm boring. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye. Livingonadive.com. Oh, my.